Hey everyone, this is going to be a tutorial on how to make this really easy Brazilian style bikini bottom. So if you want to know how to make that, then continue watching. For this piece, I'm using a 2.5mm hook. To start, make 10 chains. Then double crochet back down starting in the second chain from the hook all the way to the end. We now do, for our second row, two chains and then a double crochet in each stitch till the very end. For the third row, we start to increase, so chain 2 and then do a double crochet in the same stitch which creates two double crochets essentially. Then chain along like normal. And in the last stitch do two double crochets. And just repeat that again. So one in the same for the beginning and then two double crochets in the last stitch. I've just skipped to the end here to show the two double crochets in the last stitch. Now repeat exactly what we've been doing with the two double crochets at the end and an extra one in the same stitch at the beginning for another two rows. Now that we can see the increase, we're going to do it a bit more. So rather than doing one in the same stitch in the beginning, we're now going to do two double crochets in the same stitch. in the first one and then just turn along sorry double crochet along like normal
Then when we come to the end of the row, to the last stitch, do three double crochets in that last stitch rather than two like we were before. Do three. Now just repeat exactly that for another three rows with the three double crochets. If you want to do more rows, that's fine, it's totally up to you. You'll just get a bigger size, obviously. I'm now going to make it a bit longer by not increasing anymore but just going up. So double crochet in the second stitch from the hook, just doing a normal row. Double crochet across and then do just one in the last chain. Repeat exactly that for another three to four rows or as however many as you want. Once you've done that, our job is to now join the yarn back onto the bottom of the piece. Join with a slip stitch. chain two and do a normal row of double crochets all the way to the end. again just a normal row of double crochets no increasing repeat exactly what we've been doing for another five to six rows and it will turn out something like this so no increasing just a normal rows of double crochets so now we start increasing chain two And do one double crochet in the same stitch at the very beginning, chain along and then two in the last stitch. in the last stitch. Then we're going to increase more. So chain two again and this time do two double crochets in that same first stitch. One and two and that counts as three with the chain two. Then double crochet along to the end. At the end, do three double crochets in the last chain. Two and three. Repeat exactly that for another four to five rows. And this is what you'll be left with, hopefully. We're now going to keep working along the top. 
this time chain two and do one double crochet in the first stitch only one though then walk along as normal And then do two double crochets in the last stitch when you get there. And we're going to repeat exactly that for another two rows. When we finish increasing, we're just going to do a few more rows of just normal stitches. So double crochet in the next stitch, not the same one. Then work across as normal and just do one in the last stitch. So, only one there. So when you have enough rows to suit you, our job is to join it together. To do this, you can slip stitch the sides together, but I'm gonna um, chain to make bows to tie together. So just do a chain on each corner of the piece. To attach it to the other corners just use a slip stitch and then you can tie, tie them together and it can be adjusted for your size so that works repeat that on each corner and this is the finished product I hope you guys like this tutorial give it a thumbs up if you want more things like this or let me know what you want bye